Dennis and Nasha the Wonder Dog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Yes! A perfect takeoff and a perfect. <laughs> Landing. Oh, oh, Nasha, where are you? <laughs> where are you going with that? Nasha's already got a kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. This is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats! These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life, uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Den? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Fluff, we don't bite. Nasha, no! Oh no, Dennis, what have you done? No problem, Mum. Watch this. Nasha! Hey boy, Nasha! Nasha, stop! Yes, these lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. Why, all oh, that's khaki. I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? <sighs> Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Well, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry? Nice, eh? Hmm. But this one. Oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out... He's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? 
<coughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? <coughs> You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you Agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha, keep these out of sight. <laughs> Oh, uh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good, because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll... Uh... Hop after him! Fluff! I mean, Nasha! Here, boy! Oh, look at my glasses! Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens! Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh, there's no need. <laughs> they went behind the shed. Good, there's no escape. Leave it to me. Like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No, sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh. <laughs> uh, give them to me. <laughs> Silly <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. Oh no! We'll never find him now! Wait a minute, Jane, look! Hold on, Fluff, we'll save you! I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre, but I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> It's your favourite, seaweed and spinach. <laughs> Look, Dad, he's heading for that tree. It's a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit, bad boy. <laughs> Pierre, oh, I didn't mean it. Come back. <laughs> Woof! Jump! Dennis and Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing, really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian wirehead tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him! He's traumatised! Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>
You know what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework handing. Any second now. Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm Five at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up! Ha! 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 -ya! The greatest action hero of all time! Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans! Cool! I can't wait to show him his special move, Crank! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles! Just arrived today at Mr. Ha Ha's! Fantastic! Careful, Jen, it's infectious! <laughs> nice one, Pie Face! I'm always up for a laugh! <laughs> but this is ridiculous! <laughs> oh, too much laughing! <laughs> Kung Fu! <laughs> Too much ice cream! <laughs> Wash the car! <laughs> there you are. Come on, chores. Oh. <laughs> Ice cream! Only one left! <gasps> <gasps> Too slow, Dennis! <laughs> What's up, Dan? <gasps> oh, these hiccups are ruining me day! If I don't get rid of these hiccups... <gasps> I'll be so noisy, they won't let me in to see the movie tonight. <laughs> oh, no. Then you won't get to meet Crank Power Up. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I've got to sort this out. I'll see you later. So, what shall we do now? <gasps> we'll have to make our own fun. If I hold me breath, maybe I can hold back these hiccups. <gasps> Here goes. What's that racket? <laughs> Polish me kit bag. That's the worst case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of <laughs> milk, spoonful of mustard topped with a... <laughs> Squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr... Ha-Ha's got any ideas. 
Seeing as it was his can of giggles that uh, caused the problem. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. <sighs> Grass again. <sighs> we could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Uh, why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them. With a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem. <gasps> can of giggles. <gasps> hiccups. Oh, dear. Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle-ups. You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Cano Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle-ups. <laughs> Cure number one, balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the Ha Ha Mega Jumbo Pencil. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So... We sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. Oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <laughs> wanted. <laughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. <gasps> Here should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <gasps> Crang! <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <gasps> and you're not helping. <gasps> Flash. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush. Hmm. Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! Curly, pie face, what are you playing at? <laughs> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're <laughs> useless. <laughs> at this rate, I'll miss the <laughs> movie and I'll never get to show <laughs> Crank Power Up with special <laughs> move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured. Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. in crunch of fists three, Mr Power-Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl. Could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. Down. Elevator to the underworld! Oh. I 
Hang on. What's this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out. Not anymore. <laughs> hey, look. I thought it was sold out. Right now, it's sold out. You let them in. But it was sold out, then it wasn't. Now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook Fuzzy Rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25 string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. Ah <laughs> Out and don't come back. Okay, not a tunnel, but uh Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <laughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <laughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. She's backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face. Leave the food alone. I've got to keep my strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, 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 darling. It's <coughs> not polite. <coughs> <coughs> My tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa. Like the new hair. <laughs> Quick, Nasha. Take these. <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure. I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to uh, dress. <laughs> wow! This is the real thing. Just, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> The crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money, aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet! Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have some money, please? <laughs> so, that's a no then, is it? But you always give me money! <gasps> You're not my dad! Security! Quick! Now's our chance! <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, huh. oh, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> real Rat Bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're gonna have to do a solo gig. Mr. Ratbucket, sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> Nice pot of tea. Check. 
plenty of cream cakes. Check. Box of tissues. Check. Oh, all set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. Mm. Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just oh, a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. You don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But Mum, Mr Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech? Mm-hmm. Apparently Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band, a rubber band? Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move, the Flying Fankling with Twist. My kingdom for a rubber... Dog. Nasher! Of course, darling. How could they not? You're young. Oh, oh goodness, what now? <laughs> Mum! Nasher's hurt a tooth in a freak wrestling accident! All right, let me see. Oh, Nasher. You better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum. See ya! And you, back in the garden. Now! Yes, dear. Right away, dear. Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then. Let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. <coughs> yeah. I think we've found the little rascal. <coughs> Nasha! What's she doing to me, best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. Now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. don't think so. Hooligans! Sorry, Dudley. It's an emergency. I'll give it back later. <sighs> you little pests. You just wait. Ooh, yeah. Oopsie. We should be able to lose the dentist in here. Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm are having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, under the table. Uh, Mr Big Bucks and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Uh, who was it again? Oh, yes, me. Oh. 
Are you all right, Nasha? I'm not surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A praise silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? You'll be fine. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paper clips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasha. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first coated paper clips. Nasha! Corrosion resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard. Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> stick together. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. <laughs> yes, it is. Mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> I get older, the little pest! <laughs> <laughs> and his horrible dog! <laughs> <laughs> think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> no one laughs at Mr. Magnifico! <laughs> Stop it, bro! <laughs> Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Big Box, <laughs> how can I ever apologise? Uh, 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 apologise? What for? Great, <laughs> wonderful conference, Scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Big Box. <laughs> 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 Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> tickets? <laughs> of course, Dennis. <laughs> You'll need money for drinks and eats, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernandez! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoo is laughing. <laughs> oh, oh Nasha. <laughs> <laughs>
And remember, Maxim Ultra Bark Mulch will stop those weeds dead in their tracks. See you next week on Gardens Galore. If Julian Acorn recommends Maxim Ultra, it'll be just what I need to get my garden in shape for Beano Town in bloom. We're off to the garden centre to get some. All right, dear, see you later. Oh, don't forget Nasha's bath. No problem, just leave it to me. And now the cup semi-final between Beano Town Wanderers and Drain. Oh, hello, Colonel. What ho? Seems friendly, but don't be fooled. When it comes to Beano Town in bloom, she's the enemy. Now, by the left, quick. Dennis! Mum says Nasha needs a bath. Oh, Dad, do I have to do it? Oh, you know he always goes berserk. Sorry, Dennis, I'm really busy. I'll have to leave it to you. Nasha, you know sometimes we have to do stuff we don't like? <sighs> I mean... I have to do me homework and tidy me room and eat sprouts and stuff. <laughs> and sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like, like going to the vet. <laughs> and having flea treatment. <laughs> and having a bath. <laughs> Wait! It's only soap and water! <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. I should think you are. Not so much Beano Town in bloom, more bomb sight on a bad day. <laughs> what are you talking about, Walter? Beano Town in bloom, the garden contest. Your mother was my main rival, but I'm sure to win now, thanks to you. <laughs> right, Nasha, that's it. We can't let Mum get beaten by Walter. Somehow, we've got to get this garden fixed up again. <laughs> Curly, call Pieface and get over here. I've got a gardening emergency. <laughs> what? Er, uh, what's with the horse? He's looking after it for his cousin. But ever since he's got it, he's been acting weird. What? Weirder than usual? He won't answer you unless you call him the Pie Crust Kid. OK, OK, fair enough. So, Pie Crust Kid, what's with the horse? This here's my Palomino, Sylvia. Pie Horse, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that all about? She does it every time I say, Hi, ho, Sylvia. <laughs> well, stop saying it then. It's not good, is it? Not good at all, Curly. I darn toot and don't see how. <gasps> uh, what I mean is, we'll never get it back to how it was. No kidding, Pie Face. Hang on, he's on to something. We can't fix it, so maybe we should try something totally different. You mean like. Bigger, better, more spectacular. That's the plan. Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Beano Town Towers. A stately home garden. Exactly. We'll make one just like it, except smaller. Garden. Stately? <laughs> In a state more like. <laughs> it just needs an extra something. <laughs> and I know just the something it needs. A pinch of down home prairie fertilizer. Manure. My dad says.
because you can't beat it. Hmm. Well, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to the garden? <laughs> Dennis! What have you done? The garden's your mother's pride and joy. I know, Dad. Sorry. I was trying to give Nasher a bath, like you said, and it all got out of hand. I should have bathed him myself. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Dad. We'll think of something. There's no time, Dennis. We'll just have to face the music. You two can go home. No sense in us all getting into trouble. OK. See you then. Right. Best be off then. See ya. You're bound to win Beano Town in Bloom, Walter. Your garden looks super. Well, it's going to look even better this afternoon because it's getting a makeover from Julian Acorn, the man from Gardens Galore. Golly, does your dad know him? No, my uncle does. Once he's added the finishing touch, my garden will be sure to win the grand prize. Ha! Here, that's not fair! Best tell done. Hi! I mean, come on, Sylvia. So, Walter's getting Julian Acorn in. Cos his uncle knows him. And, and it's cheating, isn't it? Hang on, did you say Walter's uncle knows him, not his dad? Yeah? Get into many small boys. I can feel a plan coming on. As soon as Nasha sees the TV van, he signals to Curly, OK? Then Curly signals to you and you alert me, right? Got yeah. It. Right, get into position. Ooh. He's on his way, pie face. Control. Right. Ready, Dad? Remember, you're supposed to be Walter's dad. No problem. Delighted to meet you, Mr. Acorn. Hi, I'm Julian Acorn. Uh, you must be Walter. Yes. How do you do, Mr. Acorn? And you must be Walter's dad. Indubitably. Delighted to meet you, Mr. Acorn. We're big fans, are we not, De uh, Walter? Oh, yes. Double indubitably. Gardens Galore is my very favourite programme. Great. Well, then, uh, let's take a look at your garden. Hmm, it's a tricky one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello, anybody home? Out here, dear. Ta da! <gasps> My garden! It looks. fantastic! Yes, thanks to Mr. Acorn here. Mwah, mwah. Delighted to meet you, dear lady. Oh, oh, Mr. Acorn. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> but how... I mean, why did you pick my garden for a makeover? Well, apparently it was all the idea of your little lad Walter here. His uncle called me. But my son's not called Walt. Oh, Dennis! So, who won Beano Town in Bloom, then? The Colonel. The judges said he had a very disciplined approach. Your mum would have won if she'd gone in for it, though. Yeah, but you know mum. As the garden had a professional makeover, she thought it'd be cheating if she entered. At least Walter didn't win. Not very likely, Pie Face, seeing as you totally lost control of Sylvia. <laughs> There's just one thing left to do. What's that, Dan? Nasha's bath. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh shut up! It's so 
for today. Oh, get off, Masha! It's Saturday. Oh, what do you want, Curly? It's Saturday. Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town. The fair? Give me five minutes. Choo choo! Here comes the train bee. Good girl, bee. Dennis, that's disgusting. Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pie Face at the fair. Oh no, you're not. I need you to look after B while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. B could chill out too, couldn't you, B? <coughs> See, she said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. What are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety, innit? More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Calls chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as I don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that. 
<laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and bouncy castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Come, bouncy castle. Happy do a poo! Hey, B, look. It's not my fault. You just can't. Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. Must have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? Bee, <laughs> <laughs> I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. 